So this this tool is actually a second generation tool. Uh, what, we're, what we're trying to do here in the Missouri Delta is we're, we're trying to find a way to make these cover crops work with our furrow irrigated system. It's our long term goal to eventually work our way out of irrigation, which would be really great. We get 50 inches of rainfall in the boot hill, and that's more than enough to make a crop. So once we can get our soil structure back in line, we can get our soils back in line, we'll head that direction. We, we view tools like this as a bridge. It's, it's a bridge to get from where we're at to where we're going. So this is a, uh, we call it a furrow runner or furrow plow. And it's only job in life is, is to make a small water furrow for the water to run down. Uh, historically, we've, again, we, we've pulled big, tall uh, ridge till beds uh, with, with big disc blade hippers. So, so doing away with all that and, and going back to a more no-till situation, meaning from tilling the whole field and, and making complete beds to just tilling a very small portion of the field just for the way the water can run. We've also outfitted this uh, this tool to uh, put down our 28004 and our 32%. So this is actually gonna double as our liquid applicator as well. Uh, we pull a uh, 1700 gallon tank behind this bar. Uh, it's got a hitch on the back and we, uh, we have injection nozzles that are housed inside these, these blades. So when the blades come together, we're gonna be injecting our fertilizers. This is a, in another life, this was a Northman, uh, they call it a better lister, and this tool was used to make uh, the big 38 inch, 40 inch beds, or 30 inch beds. And so now we've repurposed this for, for another life. We're uh, really excited about it. It's, it's 18 row, uh, 40 inch, which will match up to our 36 row. These are our, uh, our John Blue uh, flow monitors, red balls as we call them. Um, and, you know, obviously as the fluid's going through, you can kind of track and, and see if you've got a tip stopped up or if you've got a, uh, if you've got a problem. So this is uh, a pretty low-tech solution to a uh, very expensive problem like not putting out enough fertilizer. Uh, behind here is our, is our hitch system. Uh, all of our on-off manifolds, we can control multiple units, multiple sections of this bar. Uh, we're coming down on point roads. So we're, uh, we're really excited with this tool. We were able to uh, pull, it, pull it some this fall to just kind of get our feet wet and make some water furrows. And uh, we've got some soil types here in southeast Missouri that are, that are pretty heavy heavy clay soil types, and so we wanted to try to get out uh, ahead of the uh, of the winter rains and the early spring rains with this tool and go ahead and get some uh, surface drainage on top of where we're going to try to have good water filtration uh, with our cover crop. This, this will be used for everything. Everywhere we're going to be irrigating, uh, furrow irrigating, this tool will make one pass across the field. Got some places we pulled it last fall. We're going to try and see if we can just use last year's furrow to irrigate with. But if we're not going to get, if we're not getting good results, we'll go ahead and have to make another pass uh, with this tool this summer. Typically, we like 28004 uh, for our side dress. We like that additional sulfur you can get out of it. Uh, we will run 32% as well. But the lion's share of our liquid products uh, is going to be 28004. Uh, and that's, we're, we're, with the 20 inch row corn, we're going to be really, have to be Johnny on the spot with this tool. As soon as we're able to row a corn stand, we're going to be coming through and, and making our making our furrows and laying down, laying down some uh, side dress fertilizer. 